I like how people are finally acknowledging that Pokemon is not a great series. The games are generally trash. They're they're bad. <laughs> but all it took for people to realize it was not Digimon, it was not Yokai Watch, Nino Kuni, or Monster Hunter Stories. No, it was a early access survival game called Pow World. <laughs> Uh, let's discuss about this. Yo, what's up my fellow Dragodons? Dreadclaw here. Today we're going to be talking about the infamous Pokemon, but with guns. Better known as Power World. It's so crazy how extremely well that game is doing, both financially and critically. I honestly haven't seen a game-breaking numbers like this since Elden Marine back in 2021. The devs that recently have came out with a roadmap giving us information uh, what their plans are for Power World, including some bug fixes, some nice quality of improvements, crossplay finally being enabled, which is pretty nice because I have some friends that play it on the Game Pass version, but they're going to be getting the Steam version anyway. But you know, for that option, it is pretty nice. Even, of course, the uh, server transfer and migration, that's a nice improvement as well. Especially for somebody who doesn't want to go to the Steam version uh, without their save from the Xbox version. Just because, you know, all the time and effort you put into it. And, yeah. You know? It's pretty nice. Now, I originally what? Now, I originally wasn't... So sure if I was going to like the game, since Power World is, at its core, a survival game, like Ark. Which is a genre I tried to get into, but stuff like Don't Starve, Together, Grounded, and The Forest didn't keep me interested for long. At least, like, maybe a day or two, I just get bored of it. But Power World being less grindy and the monster team aspect kept me interested uh, longer. And I can safely say I've been having a blast with the game, me and some of my friends have been quite addicted to this game. Well, more so uh, <laughs> a certain friend of mine, I would say, because I see him out there for hours. And I'm going to be real for a sec, because when the game was revealed a while back, we all thought it was pretty much a shit post or a meme. It probably would have done okay sales-wise, but every day, we keep seeing the game sell probably more than we expect, which is amazing, especially for a monster team game outside of Pokemon, which usually don't do as well. But with the success comes the controversy. The rabid Pokemon fans on Twitter have been going out of their way to make bizarre claims saying devs behind Power World are using stolen assets. Now, guys, let's not pretend Pokemon is that original. While Power World has some things that look a bit sketchy, but let's not pretend Pokemon and Game Freak don't copy stuff from other franchises as well. Pokemon didn't even start the whole monster taming genre. It was Shin Megami Tensei, a franchise from Atlas created for the Super Famicom back in October 30th, 1992. Four years before the first Pokemon game came out in Japan. If you're not familiar with the Shin Megami Tensei, you might be more familiar with its spin-off series, Persona. Where Persona is, of course, if you know by now, it's more of a simulator. It has the slice of life, you get to go to school and whatnot, talk to people, romance. While Shin Megami Tensei is a lot more different, it's more about the pure dungeon crawling. While it does have story, it's not heavy dialogue-esque like the Persona series, which I definitely recommend checking out if that's more of your, uh, it's more of your thing. The only thing Pokemon has ever done was popularize the genre, but for whatever reason, Pokemon was the only monster taming franchise that remained popular until Power World. Close I could think of what was back when Yokai Watch at one point was outselling Pokemon games like X and Y and the Gen 3 remakes, but only in Japan, and it was only the first two Yokai Watch games. 
But on the bright side of the situation, whether you like it or hate it with Power World being popular, it does lead to other people that played Power World to possibly want to try out other monster taming franchises, which could be a good boost for the series for franchises like Yokai Watch, Digimon, Monster Hunter Stories, even a series like Monster Rancher, which recently came back with a double pack of the first two Monster Rancher games, even a Kaiju Monster Rancher game that I haven't played myself, but I definitely want to pick it up at some point. Or even the more indie style monster tamer games like Cassette Beasts. Power will attract a bigger audience, which in return has more eyes on the genre as a whole. Which would mean people don't have to just play Pokemon anymore. They can literally check out any of these franchises. There's always been competition, but the competition never really sold well. And Pokemon fans have this weird thing where they only want Pokemon to be a thing. No other franchise can exist. There's a monopoly on the genre as a whole. But with Power World, some miracle, something has awoken people. They have seen that, yes, you there are alternatives. They finally have something else they can play. And with the new Yokai Watch game getting a in its full-on reveal this month from the level 5 event i'm looking forward to seeing what they have up their game because now this is the perfect time for yokai watch to get the sales it deserves in the west and even want to see what it comes from capcom with monster hunter stories 3 and even with bandai namco what they would have next in store for digimon and please this goes to all the big name publishers. You really gotta do better marketing. Cause I imagine Digimon Survive didn't even sell that well. Especially you know it's bad when you put it out the same day or the same time as Xenoblade Chronicles 3, a highly anticipated RPG for the Nintendo Switch. Again, you gotta do better marketing. Gotta do it better. Otherwise, no marketing equals low sales, and that leads to the big, at least the publishers, real thinking, oh, they don't want these franchises. We'll just keep it Japan only, or not do anything with them at all. But yeah, let me get out in the comment section below, guys, what do you think of this whole situation with Power World? Have you played the game yourself? Are you not really interested, but you want to support the other Monster Tamer games? I am going to make a list of games I would recommend for people that want to get into monster taming games. Uh, you know, cool alternatives. But yeah, guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace.